Oh, great! Another cutscene. This one's gonna have to get chopped up, ain't it? What is it, Lilia? Why are you stopping? I don't think I can go with you, Mr. Karg, sir. I truly appreciate it, but I just can't. Yeah, the army will just, you know, blow it up. This isn't just your problem anymore. This little army has invaded this country's territory. So you don't have to worry about what's going to happen to us at all. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dude, if you're expecting the World Alliance to help you, you're screwed. They're a bunch of blowhards and busy buddies. Oh, and just call me Karg. You don't have to call me Mr. Or Sir or anything, okay? I'm kind of new on the job. Hey, let's keep going. We're almost at you, Bell. I'm so disappointed, man. If you guys had joined up with us, we'd be unstoppable. A real force to be reckoned with. What a shame. Just don't get it, do you? A person like that just plain hates people. You never be of any help to anyone. I don't think that's necessarily true, though. Huh? What do you mean? If you really hate people with the way I was hurt and all, he could have just decided to leave me behind to die. But he didn't. Stanner kind of attended to my wounds, helped me as much as he could. I think his heart is just closed because he's seen so many people die and it's just too much to handle. He all he's really looking for is a way to connect with people. Maybe. I like being alone. Things are just easier that way. You know, inside I know it's not enough for me, and I just want someone to be with. When I think about what would happen if I were to end up all alone again, just that maybe I shouldn't have gotten close to anyone in the first place, so I wouldn't have to get hurt again. Maru. And more trouble. Great. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, that is the question, ain't it? Yeah, you can say it all you want. I'm not handing her over. Got that right. Do you even realize this? Who cares? If you don't want to get hurt, just leave the girl and get the hell out of here. Don't finish that sentence. Yeah, I'm not gonna hand her over to scum like you. You impotent little brat. Well, at least they lost their flying machines. Yeah, we need her alive. Well, at least we don't have to hopefully protect her, right? Ah, come on, party items. Well, good. We actually had enough. Um, I don't have any healing items on hand, do I? Can I use some items from the inventory here? Okay, you could use a heal. Use item. Healing herb. And you could use a heal, right? There's a talent to win attacks, a bomb. Yeah, that's probably overkill. <sighs> this is becoming quite the long task. I've been waiting. Haven't we all? I'm coming for you. And we got some explosives over there I could work with. You'll never but I doubt they're gonna stay in one spot long enough. Die. Yep, die, will ya? Well, 
Okay. Sling knife. Once I get you, you'll never escape. Yep. Sling knife. Huh. Sadly, that probably won't be enough. Oh, well, it's just barely enough. Damn. And they got a sniper. How irritating. Too slow. Okay. Well, there goes their commander. Venom arrow. Gosh darn it. Why do they have to keep putting some people just barely outside my reach, darn you? Well, it's not perfect, but at least it'll help us, you know, weaken two. Yep, another level for our glory. Okay, I'll grab the spirit stones and finish you off. What's this? Eleven? Oh, good. I can turn those around and use them as power then. Once I get you, you'll never For a sling knife. Yep, that ought to be a good one. Is this edible? No, it's not, you fool. Okay. Right. Just dump shoot him then. Go. Darn it! Like, he seriously survived with just 2 HP? Go. Like, the game's taunting me then. Seriously. Okay. Back of this guy. You, huh? Okay. Catch you in the crossfire. I guess I could shoot both from here, but not sure I want to. Okay. Dodge that. A broken sword, eh? Just end turn, I guess. It's ours now. I need those spirit stones. Right. Even if there's a small amount, I'll still take them. Just for potential later benefits, man. Please tell me I can finally be done with the fighting. That's weird. No matter how many they send in, they're all the same. Yeah, this is strange. Those soldiers were just like the ones in the forest. What's the point? They can't do anything anyway. They're weak. They're nothing. Hardly worth the effort. Man, those creeps are nothing but talk. I think I'll be sending someone better here eventually. Well now... That was a good answer, man. Sheer numbers. Ah... They're scientists. Yes, I found the I'm about to secure the area. Looking to play war, are we? Aren't you satisfied yet? Just leave the girl there and run on home to your mommies already. I'm Carr, commander of the Nadalia Defense Corps. So you're in charge, huh? So long as you start by giving me your name and the reason you're invading my country. That's normal procedure, is it not? <laughs> it's pretty tough talk for someone from such a puny little country. I like it. You got spunk, kid. Fine. I'm Lieutenant Colonel T 
Tatyana of the Dismal Army Special Forces Division. We're not interested in useless fighting either. We'll do it as soon as we get what we want. Just hand the girl over, will ya? Why? Why do you need her so bad your results are invading other countries? No, we haven't. She's smart. Just letting go blab and bring other countries in this whole mess, is there? Man, I advise you not to ask too many questions. It's for your own good. What'd you say? We haven't smelled the coffee. We're not trying to negotiate with you. We're ordering you. I don't care how small that deli is. We're part of the World Alliance. Any further hostile action on your part will constitute a hostile action against all Alliance countries. You really are a clueless kid, aren't you? We've been hostile against everyone for a long time now. Your role as is just a herd of sheep without a shepherd. It's like a big spineless jellyfish. They don't frighten us one bit. We cut off their balls a long time ago. How clueless are they? This is no time for humans to be fighting against humans. Well, we're here wasting our time, the Danos are steadily spraying into human territory. No, we really shouldn't. Your country sucks. Nonsense. That'll never happen. Sure, huh? If you resist, we'll just have to dispose of these fools here. We get a full-scale invasion of the Delia. So, what do you say? Don't worry. We can handle these guys piece of cake. Yeah, who'd follow that stupid Dizweld anyway? I'm a prince, you know. Wait. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna surrender? I know we're surrounded and all. Oh, you really think that she's gonna keep that promise? Seriously. Yeah, a promise I made while my fingers were crossed, so don't count. Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. And as soon as they start leaving, she's like, kill them. Yeah, we have. Huh? But... Roger. I have orders from His Highness, Emperor Darkham. I would execute all those who assisted in Leela's escape. That's not what you promised! Yeah, a bit late for that. Jeez. Ready? Yeah, ready yourselves to die. Karg. No. You bastards. What we do, Karg? We channel the power of magic. Fire! Well... That's one way to get rid of an enemy. What the hell was that? Karg? Damn! I can't fight them all by myself! Damn you high heels! That was amazing, Karg! Huh? How'd you do that, man? Um... I don't? Or if that was spirit magic just now? 
What's that? According to the legend, there were a small number of people who were able to borrow the power of the spirits to build powerful magic. You know the ancient legends of the hero and the mother? They are able to use magic too. Haven't you ever heard of it? No, I haven't. But when the spirits disappeared from the earth, so did the people who could use magic. That's why not only the ones with magic or magical powers are monsters and demos. But Car, you... Whoa, Car, you can use magic? That's so cool! Totally awesome! Spirit magic, huh? How's that possible, I'm... You know, Gark, maybe you're like the reincarnation of the legendary hero guy or something. It said... Awaken, O Chosen One. Could this be what it meant? Yeah, a hero's like way cooler than a prince. Knew you were special all along. Please don't inflate his ego. We can only hope, right? But we all know it's going to be a world-saving quest we got to go on. Yep, a newfound power. Which I think is going to have to be in the next chapter, because I think this is basically over for this one. Yeah, they, they better not interrupt me again. Like, seriously. I'm tired of the interruptions. I just want to save. So on arriving, you bell, we shall. For even more cutscenes. Gosh darn it. Well, we made it. This is you bell. You bell. Looks like a quiet and peaceful town. That's what all this town has to offer, I guess. Some nice windmills in town over there is, um... This is no time to be giving her the grand tour, is it? Shouldn't we be reporting to Lady Nafia right about now? Were you upset or something? Oh, I can save. Good. This has gone on way longer than I intended already. Well, that'll do for this episode, or series of episodes. Till next time, then. See ya.